Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of Invaluable, which is an online auction portal, we're going to have a look at an auction by Old Barn Auctions based in the US and they seem to have a selection of violins and a few guitars and some other bits and pieces uh, up for auction actually finishing tomorrow so it's the 16th today and this auction finishes tomorrow on the 17th of february just thought we'd have a quick look over it it looks like there's a few things about 41 or so lots maybe a little bit less because i think there's a few things which are actually for an auction in the future but for the ones finishing tomorrow i think it's about um 38 or so items so before we get going just to say that uh the buyer's premium i believe for this auction is 18 percent, probably a little bit higher when you have some other charges this is a u.s based auction so bear that in mind if you're looking to bid from abroad import export fees maybe society's restrictions all of that fun um if you do enjoy these videos please consider subscribing like comment or turn on notifications all of that kind of stuff because it is quite handy so we're just going to blitz through this really and see what we can find uh, there might be some interesting stuff you never know even at the smaller auctions there are sometimes interesting stuff so starting off we seem to have a violin uh, sometimes a little bit slow to load unfortunately on on invaluable for whatever reason so we have a violin and i think that's the only description you can see that the varnish is kind of uh, failing a bit on that really difficult to tell exactly what that is maybe it could be some kind of amateur violin or american violin of some kind difficult to really tell so we seem to have another violin here i don't think we're going to get much from any descriptions here it's just going to say violin in case um this one once again probably some kind of trade violin looking at some of the corner works but i wouldn't rule out possibly uh, amateur American or something like that probably I think it's a trade instrument but uh, difficult to tell from these pictures got another violin here I think violin in case is the best description we're going to get from this this does look like a pretty standard trade violin there actually it's one of these ones with the kind of flower decoration on the back of the scroll so there's these are low estimates on this forty to a thousand dollars that's a really weird estimate range there i think that's probably wrong this looks like a very kind of cheap low-end trade violin uh this looks like it might have been stripped from the varnish let's have a quick look yeah i think someone's had a good go at stripping the top on that which is unfortunate but this is once again just a standard trade violin interesting kind of bow there with a bone adjuster some of these early kind of simple bows can be quite fun another kind of trade violin there same with this one this one as well but let's have a look and see you never know sometimes the bows can be quite interesting this looks like a very standard trade violin again once again kind of interesting these bows with the um button we're sorry with the uh bone adjusters quite curious looks like another trade violin here but let's have a quick look anyway just in case handmade copy by erj fletcher 1951 okay i mean this it just looks like a box standard trade violin to be honest so i can't really see that label really meaning anything here's a bundle of bows sometimes bow bundles can be interesting probably want to have a look at the frogs see if there's any anything interesting can't see anything really jumping out there at the moment another violin here once again that looks like a fairly straightforward trade violin stick there without a frog kind of interesting head on it but uh yeah once again a standard trade instrument there a few other violins here i think once again another trade violin let's have a look at these other two let's see if there's anything here oh it's got this kind of fancy edge work so i think another kind of 
tradey violin actually quite interesting back on that wow what that is really weird look at that kind of repair patch so clearly that's had like a sound post crack in the back or something and they've put in this really weird patch that's really quite bizarre don't think i've ever seen like anything like that before kind of curious looking uh violin actually in a way with this kind of stuff bow could be curious it's slightly more interesting than some of the others but shame about that weird patch at the bottom in case frank positor 1841 i mean you never know kind of yeah it's curious really weird that patch very strange but interesting in any case antique german violin this looks fairly straightforward i don't think there's anything too crazy about that one got one more violin and then we're into other instruments so bow there nothing too crazy there yeah it just looks like a fairly standard violin again so i think we're on to other instruments here we've got selmer and co trombone uh, cg con limited french horn St uh, stratford besson england trombone oh we've got another violin here kind of coming out of nowhere let's have a look at this one antique violin in wood case it's got a few bids this one case is quite impressive actually interesting marquetry uh, on that don't think that the violin is anything at all no it's just a nasty kind of trade violin uh, quite cool case though case is interesting but uh, I wouldn't pay that much money for it. Bundy saxophone, Selma Co. Okay, interesting. This must be like a kind of budget. Is this a budget uh, saxophone brand from Selma? Not. Uh, was it just there? Yeah, not uh, a brand that I'm aware of. But uh, interesting. If you're a saxophone person, you'll probably know. What else we got here? A mellophone. HN White King Mellophone, okay. A Gemin Heart flute there. Indiana Martin Band Instrument Trombone. IMC Comet Reynolds Emperor. Okay. Taylor Guitar Case. Silverstone uh, Guitar. Got a little cheap guitar there. Fendo Geosonic 2 Guitar. Let's have a look at that. See, not sure that that body is uh, a genuine uh, <laughs> Fender body. So it's a, f a Fender Geosonic uh, neck on some other body, I assume. Banjo there as well. Got a Johnson guitar. A uh, Casio guitar. Okay, interesting. PG380 uh, guitar there. I think that's not one that we see that often, actually. We see some of the other ones, but... That one's slightly more unusual, so that's curious. Let's see what else we got there. Burtiswood acoustic, more acoustics there, a little Marshall amp, Squire amp there, Rogue GS100 amp, and some chromatic uh, mouth organs there harmonicas and these i think are for a later auction so there we go that has been the old barn auction nothing too crazy to it's quite interesting to see that guitar there uh don't think any of the violins are really of interest apart from that kind of curious one with the weird patch on the back uh but interesting to look at the auction anyway um if you're interested in looking at it i'll put a link in the description as always so check it out and see what you think um, thanks a lot once again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.